Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Today I'm going to be sharing with you an office makeover on a budget and guys this is a crazy one. So if you're new here I would love for you to subscribe and join my family here so just hit that red subscribe button down below but definitely sit back and buckle up because this is going to be a wild ride. So let's go ahead and jump straight into today's video. Okay, so if you're up to date, this is the last way you saw this room. So right before this, it was my daughter's bedroom. So you can go watch my last home tour if you wanna see what it looked like. But this is what happened after a little itch to switch. I told you guys it wasn't finished. That's just kind of all the pieces I had left. So today is the video that I'm gonna be showing you everything we've done to this space. I've been so excited to share it with you guys. So this is gonna be for Chase's office. So it's definitely not what you guys expect from me or my style, but this is a style I've been wanting to decorate with so long. And it's like the Scandinavian style. It's very masculine and earthy tones. So I went ahead and found him this desk chair. I was super excited when I found it because anytime I found a desk chair like this, it was like hundreds of dollars. I found this one for about 70 bucks on Amazon. I'm going to link everything that I possibly can down below in my description box. So definitely check there first. If I don't have it, feel free to message me and I'll try to find you a link. But Chase is going to go ahead and start putting this together. So I wanted him to have a really cool chair. I think black are just so exciting. Expected. So I was trying to find him something kind of cool and edgy and trendy. So like I said, I found this one and I'm super happy with it. Just in case you're curious, this chair was super easy to put together. It only took him a few minutes, so it was not something hard. We have been putting furniture together like crazy lately, and this was like one of the easiest pieces we had. So if you're looking for a really cool desk chair, this is definitely the way to go. I feel like if you're like creating an office space, a desk chair is just a great way to make it different. Um, I feel like desk chairs can be so expected or boring, but just by investing a little bit in a desk chair can just make the room feel so much like cool and edgy or whatever kind of feeling you're going for in that space so definitely just try updating your office chair and it may completely change the whole space as you can see chase loved the chair <laughs> but now we're going to talk pillows so i wanted to add some of that now none of this is like real leather but like the faux leather i wanted to add that color over on our futon so I found these pillow covers on Amazon. Once again, I'll have them linked. I just kind of wanted to tie in that brown orangey tone. Um, this is the first time I've gotten pillow covers. I know you guys always talk about them. They are pretty cool. I love shopping Ross pillows, but our Ross has not had much lately. So I went ahead and ordered pillow covers. I got these black and white ones too. And I just took pillows from around the house and outside that I already had and stuffed them. And they worked out really well. And like I said, all of this has been Amazon so far. So it'll I'll be in my store. Our bodies meet, I can feel the tension. Move us into the next dimension. Let's just let our bodies be true. We make out for the thrill of it. Mess around for the thrill of it. Don't stop now. Okay, so this makeover ended up being one of our craziest yet. It took about two, two and a half weeks, not straight, but we just kept getting busy or we would go to create a space and we would just have like a major fail. I'll talk about that all through today's video, but as you can see, I moved the futon to this side. It definitely does not end up here. Everything you're gonna see me do at the beginning of the video, I'm probably gonna undo and do something different by the end. So definitely stay until the end if you wanna see how it turns out. But this futon's just from 
Walmart. It was super cheap. We've had it for, I say a couple of years. It's been in Savannah's playroom, but I love it. It just looks like nice, sleek, and modern. And then if she has sleepovers or we just need an extra place to sleep, it does pull down into like a bed. So as you can see, I'm just gonna arrange these pillows on here. They don't stay this way. Not all of these pillows stay, <laughs> like I said. This was a really crazy video. I'm gonna be saying, but wait, there's more all throughout this video. Finding art for like a man's office can be kind of hard because you don't want it girly and I didn't want it too industrial. Like I still wanted this room to somewhat flow with our house. So we found this really cool piece. And if you guys remember, I have something very similar to it. It's a little bit smaller and gold in our bedroom. So I thought it was really cool to have the same piece, but in black in this room. It is super heavy. So he's making sure that it's getting screwed in really well. Um, so currently we're gonna hang it right here above the futon. This is a really cool piece. Um, sometimes you can find this piece at Ross for around 20 bucks and then you could spray paint it any color. I couldn't find them this time. So I did find this one at Home Goods for around 40 bucks, but it was totally worth it. And we love how it turned out. Now we're gonna move on to assembling the desk. Now this is gonna be a huge budget saver. So if you're redoing an office but you already have a desk, this can save you a ton of money. Just paint it, do whatever you can to spruce it up. We couldn't do that. We kind of had a makeshift desk for him, but it was white and obviously that is very girly for like a man's office. It was fine when it was in my beauty room, but I wanted him to have something just a little more rugged and a little more masculine. So we picked out this desk. You're gonna see it here in a little bit. Desk can get super pricey. So we were trying to stay below 250, which we did. I wanna say this was around 220 and we're super happy with how it turned out. He definitely wanted some storage. He wanted room for some files. So this was the best thing we could come up with. I'm super happy with with it. We found it from, I want to say Wayfair, but I'll leave the link down below. Um, it was pretty easy to put together. It took a little bit more time, but the drawers weren't super hard. If you watched our last video with Savannah's nightstands, those drawers were definitely harder. But you're about to see the handles. When we got them in the box, they were the wrong handles from like the picture it was shown. So they were a different style and they were supposed to be black, but thank goodness I have black spray paint in my garage always. So I'm going to go ahead and just spray paint them black and they turned out perfect. While I was outside spray painting, Chase is just inside. He's gonna continue putting the drawers and the desk together. If you're doing this with like a friend or a partner or a spouse, this is definitely the way to go just because it speeds up time versus like sitting and just watching each other. So while he's working on something, I'm trying to like work on something else or just help him like grab tools or clean up around him. Um, just anything to speed the process up because these times can get long. But as you can see here, Chase needed a break. So he stopped for ice cream, <laughs> which when you're putting furniture together like this, you definitely need breaks. But now while he finishes up, Savannah's helping like dust all the like styrofoam off of it before we take it to the bedroom. And then I'm just cleaning up the best I can. And I'm also gonna vacuum. So I mentioned this vacuum a few times over here and on my Instagram account. And I went ahead and ordered one to test it out for you guys. I'm super impressed. This thing's like under $100. Sometimes it's like 110, sometimes it's 80. So I always have it in my store. It works super well on hard surfaces. So if you have wood floors, tiles, it's great. It works on my carpets, but it doesn't have the suction like my LG does. But as you can see, that is like staticky styrofoam and it's picking it up really well. 
It even works really well on these like super thin, you know, like low profile rugs. So this is just a very budget vacuum. Like I said, it's between 80 and hundred dollars. So if you need this for like your kids going off to school, or if you just don't have like, you know, a $500 budget for a vacuum, I completely understand. So definitely look into this vacuum. It has a cool light on it that my Dyson doesn't or my LG and it's a trigger. So you just have to start it and then you don't have to hold it and you just turn it off when you're done, which is a super plus two so I just thought I'd share that with you guys as well now we're gonna head back to his office area I'm gonna clean out the desk that he was using and then I'm gonna get that moved out of the room So he finally finished putting the desk together. So we're gonna go ahead and set it up on this wall. We had a full intentions to do a feature wall on this side. So that's why we wanted the desk over here, but it was a major fail. We ran to Lowe's and they actually don't cut the wood for you anymore. Well, they will up to 12 inches, but not two inches. So this is what it was looking for the time being. It stayed like this for like two or three days while I was trying to process like, what do we do on that wall? Do we even want to do anything? But as you can see right here, it was kind of plain, so it needed something. But I wanted just to kind of show you like some of this just happens in phases. Not all of these projects can happen overnight or, you know, in 20 minutes like it seems on YouTube. It takes time. So there's setbacks. We're waiting for stuff to come in. We're waiting to find stuff. So it just sets unfinished for a while. So I just wanted you guys to see like the reality that off camera, not everything goes according to plan. Um, we did run into home goods and I found this light for $19.99. I thought it was a steal. So definitely check your home goods if you're looking for something like this. And I'll try to find one to throw on my Amazon store or a link to, if you're just like wanting to get one ordered, if you're just shopping online right now. So once I realized that I couldn't do the accent wall that I was wanting, if you're curious, we were gonna do like a dark green wall with like the board and batten that was like all different designs. It's not like your typical straight up and down. But since they couldn't cut the wood how we needed it, I was like, okay, I don't want your um, desk just to be the focal point when you walk in because it's not much. So I was like, let's flip flop this again. So at least the futon's pretty, it's got pillows, blankets, whatever. At least it draws your eye in more. So this is the part of the video where we're rearranging it back. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna work on now. But it's not finished. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Okay, I also like sharing like hacks with you guys as I think of them. And I mentioned this in my last video, but I didn't get to show you. I really don't like cords, especially if they're right by the wall, but you have no place to hide them. So just throw up like a flathead screwdriver. And if you have a carpet, sometimes you can do this on wood, but be careful so you don't scratch it. But if you have carpet and then baseboards, it will actually tuck right underneath it. If you look up close, there's plenty of gap just because of the plush carpet and you can just push it in there. You can probably do this with anything. I just didn't want to break my nails. So I always just grab a screwdriver and a flathead works best, but you can just tuck it all the way until it's behind a piece of furniture and then you don't see it at all. I love this hack. It hides the cords, even these clear cords I can see. So I just wanted to share that with you guys just in case you had never heard of it. Okay, so since we had to move the futon, now we have to move that artwork. So he's gonna rehang it on this side of the room. Um, I just feel like it looks really good above the futon. And so that's kind of what we were going with. I was like, we'll just leave up this piece of artwork. We'll hang the clock. Maybe we don't need a feature wall, but wait, there's more. So just stay tuned. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so for the current day, this is what it looked like. I thought this is looking really good. I'll just get a pretty rug for in here, and it is. If you don't wanna do a feature wall, if you don't want the extra work, I feel like this looks really good. It's really clean, it's really crisp. Um, but the next thing I wanted to work on was this table. We really liked this skinny table up here, and he didn't mind the gold so much. We had gold touches in there, but the gold with the detail did come off really girly. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug all of this. I have it taped up to it, so I'm just gonna unwire it all, get everything off, and I'm gonna take this out and spray paint it just to make it look, you know, a little more rugged and less girly, and it turns out really well. So I'm just gonna carry this outside. I'm gonna show you the paint I'm using here in a second, but first I just need to tape it off so I don't mess up any of the white. This is the paint we decided to go with. We wanted like a gunmetal color, but we couldn't find it. So I thought this really deep charcoal gray would be pretty with the futon and curtains. And then a sweet subscriber sent two of these handles for me to use when I'm spray painting. And I forget to use them every single time, but I remembered this time. So if you sent them, thank you so much. It was so much easier. It even pops on really easy. But if you see, I can just keep spraying and it doesn't like hurt your pointer just to keep pressing down. So I'm super happy with the way this piece turned out you'll see it here in a little bit but I feel like with colors you have to be careful this did go a little more blue which is totally fine it looks great in the space but just know like the color you see in the store is typically different than what you see at home Okay, now we're gonna start working with wood. Um, we went and picked up these trim boards um, to do our feature wall. So keep in mind, you can buy this size board, but they're more expensive than if you were just to cut down like MDF board or something. So we are just using less of these to make a design. So I'm gonna show you what we're doing here in a little bit. Now you could use these if you wanted like that green feature wall I showed you before. It's just more money. So if you have a bigger budget, you could use these, trim them down to whatever size you need, cut the angles, but at least they are already narrow. But for us and that huge wall, it was just gonna be too pricey so I found something I want to do but first we need to go ahead and get these stained and then we will head back inside to show you what we're working on but here is just how they're looking as you can see they stain kind of different I think that looks cool it looks really cool on the wall um, this is the stain we always use it's like what our front door is our planters it's called provincial and I just think it's a really pretty rich color so if you're needing a good stain definitely check that out so I went ahead and brought the table back in later. I'm not gonna tape all the cords until the next day just cause it wasn't completely dry and I didn't wanna add sticky tape, but wait, there's more. So when we decided to do the feature wall, I decided that we probably needed a new light in there. So we ordered this, it came in less than 12 hours. You gotta love Amazon Prime. We had to order bulbs, they came quickly as well. This is the kind we got, I'll have all of this linked. Um, I'll kind of explain here in a second why we decided to add the light fixture. But as you can see, like things are just adding as we go. This was our fan, it's fine, it works fine. It was, the stain worked fine. But the feature wall we're doing, I just felt like it called for a light. So you'll see that here in a second, but we're gonna go ahead and work on the light before we move on to the wall. And this clip is for all you people that tell me I'm cleaning a clean house. Clearly I'm not doing a good job. Look at that fan. <laughs> Okay, but now I'm gonna start assembling this light while Chase is prepping for it. So we have this in gold in a larger version in our living room and we love it. And I just felt like it would be really cool and trendy in his office. So we went ahead and got it ordered. It's like around 50 bucks, it's super affordable. So we're gonna go ahead and get this installed. I just wanna love you, just wanna
And as you can see, I have zero patience. I'm trying to screw the light bulbs in while Chase is still hanging the light just because I never learned patience. It's something I work on and struggle with daily. And then that is Tiger, the black blurb on the left side of the screen. He likes being on camera. Okay, so now it's wall time. So now we have to move this bouton again just so we can work on the wall. This is such an exciting part. I feel like this is something so different that you're not seeing and it was so much easier than like the typical feature accent wall. So if you're not super handy, I think this is like basic 101. I feel like anybody could do this. I could have done this without Chase. So we have these long boards and you do, you can cut them to size and I'm pretty sure they will cut these there for you. It's just they won't cut the strips. So just know your links when you go in and we are gonna liquid nail them to the wall and then we are going to use the nail gun but we're gonna show you the design we're working on. But remember, but wait, there's more because when you think it's finished, there's more. <laughs> So as you can kind of see, we're doing these vertical stripes that are gonna go right behind the futon. I think this would be even really cool as a headboard if you don't have a big budget for a headboard, but you want to make like a really grand or bold statement on a budget, this is the way to go. But what makes this extra cool is we're gonna bring it on up to the ceiling. So we're not gonna go all the way across the ceiling. We have lighting, it would have been more expensive, but we just felt like this really draws your eye up to the ceiling and that's why I felt like we needed a new light first off it would have been two woods on the ceiling with two different stains and i wanted it to draw your eye up to something beautiful and gorgeous so like i said i think this is such a cool piece then we had to go in and do touch-ups this was mainly where we had hung that art piece that i made him take back down and then i did i didn't show it but he had to hang it back up where it was previously so that poor piece has moved around so much but right now is the fun part. I'm gonna start putting the room back together so you're about to see the end. Don't click off yet because like everything else, but wait, there's more <laughs> coming very soon. Here is a look of that black artwork. We didn't get to use the same holes because the desk is actually taller with the screen on it than the futon. So we had to refill those holes. We have been doing so much like rearranging and rehanging, but it really turned out. So I wanted to give you just an update right here. I have a few more things I need to do, but here is how the wall looks with the futon. How cool is that piece? But now we're gonna go ahead and add a rug. I felt like this space called for a rug in here. Plus I just don't love our carpet. Um, so I'm gonna go and put this out. It's from Boutique Rugs. I'm gonna leave my coupon code across the screen right here. I don't know exactly what it's gonna be yet. But if you go over on Instagram today, I actually bought two rugs and I'm deciding which one I'm gonna leave in here. So if you wanna vote or see which two I'm deciding between, definitely head on over to my Instagram page. Um, I'll have it in my stories and on a post and you can let me know over there and I'll have that link down below in my description box. Tonight, 
Okay, so here is the room complete. I am so happy with the way it turned out. I'm loving the style. Like, I still love this space and being in it, but Chase loves it as well, and it's still just a masculine office. I love the feature wall. I love the light. I think everything just works really well together. So you'll have to let us know down below in the comments section what you think, what your favorite piece is, and just kind of your thoughts on it. But like I said, I'm gonna have everything that I possibly can linked down below. I wanted to mention too that Boutique Rugs has more than rugs. I found this throw on their website. If you're looking for anything like in that Scandinavian style, definitely check them out. They have a lot of poofs. They had pillows and rugs and throws, you name it. They even have accessory like decor. So definitely check them out and use my coupon code. It's either gonna be ASH55 or ASH60. I'll have it on the screen here so you're, you're either getting 55% off or 60% off so it's just a steal and you can do all your shopping at one place this is not sponsored I just really like their style and their design and it just worked out perfect for our office so like I said all my links are gonna be down below in my description box the majority of this room was Amazon and I'm super happy with the way it turned out thank you so much for hanging out with me I hope you enjoyed today's video I hope you guys have a wonderful week and and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.